guys, Lou Lombardi back at you. Yes, it's late night. Yes, I'm in my robe and I'm sipping my favorite bourbon, uh, Bullet. And I'm listening to the Motor City Madman, Sweaty Teddy himself. A little stranglehold for you guys. Anyways, let's talk Ted Nugent. Why don't we? Ted Nugent. Massive blowhard or one of the world's most underrated guitar players? My opinion is a little bit of both. I don't think anybody can deny uh, Ted's uh, uh, bravado and uh, sort of like uh, uh, opinion, very, very opinionated person. And if you don't like that kind of stuff and it rubs you the wrong way, well, that's what Teddy does, okay? That's how he is. He's always been larger than life. Those of you guys who are too young to remember, Ted Nugent in the 70s would come on stage swinging from a rope, dressed like Tarzan, you know, and just, you know, land on the stage and start rocking your ass, you know, all the way to the ground for two, three hours a night. Um, in many ways, he was a guitar hero to a lot of people. This is pre-Eddie Van Halen, post-Jimi Hendrix, so he was really feel, filling in a gap. Plus, he was a dynamite stage performer, and he had big... Uh, album-oriented rock hits, uh, classic riffs like Stranglehold and Wango Tango and Cat Scratch Fever, and we could go on and on and on and on. Uh, I, and uh, people sort of forget about uh, Sweaty Teddy, uh, the, the Motor City Madman, because Van Halen and Randy Rhodes and Ingve and all that stuff sort of happened later on. Um, but let me tell you what. First, a couple things about Ted that are there's a few things about Ted that are really really awesome and I think underappreciated. First of all, while everybody was out playing the Les Paul through the Marshall amp, Teddy played uh, 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 hollow body Gibsons through Fender amps, and that gave him a signature tone, very different sound than anybody else out there. Okay, that was one thing about him. Uh, second of all, he did he wasn't out of out of all the sort of like like Beck and those guys that were out. Um, you know, sort of putting forth the, you know, we guitar, Montrose and these different guys. None of them had the stage presence and the stage show uh, that Teddy did. And none of them had the big, you know, riffs that became classics like Teddy did. The other thing that, that made Teddy really cool and one of the things that like took his cool factor way up for me was when his music started to, you know, sort of fell out of fashion. People weren't really like, you know, rocking out to Ted Nugent anymore. What did he do? He went and joined a very cool band with some other really great musicians, uh, namely Jack Blades and Tommy Shaw. They started a band called Damn Yankees. They had huge hits with this. This was at the close of the hair metal thing and kind of the beginning of the grunge era. And they kind of found the niche and they fit right in there. They did some great music. Ted was like, he didn't, he didn't over, um, like posture in that band or anything like that. He, in fact, he toned it down. He, he changed guitar sounds. He, he played a Paul Reed Smith, got a little like thinner type tone to blend in better with what Tommy Shaw and Jack Blades were doing. So I have a lot of respect for him, musical respect for him for all that stuff. No, I don't agree with like, you know, his socio-political uh, ideas, a lot of them, you know, uh, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's, he's, a, he's a little out there, uh, what, you know, but if you can put all that stuff aside and look, really look at the actual music that he made and the, and the great guitar playing that he did and the uh, generations of guitar players that he influenced, I mean, I think that like Zach Wilde is kind of like would, would probably have to admit that Teddy is, is an influence. A lot of those guys would too. I know Ted for me was the first like big guitar hero that I knew of. I turned the radio on around that era when he was really big and you know, he really kind of caught my attention as a lead guitar player. Um, but other things happened before and after, and so he kind of gets lost in the shuffle. So I say Ted Nugent is a great underrated guitar player, although at times a bit of a blowhard. What do you guys think? Drop me a, a message. Let me know what you think. Reply to my email or leave a message here in the comment. By the way, I, in the comments here below the video, by the way, there's some cool links here. I've got um, an inner circle group. You can come and hang out with me. I do all kind of cool stuff. So check that out, guys. My name is Lou Lombardi, in case you didn't know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Let's keep rocking out to some Teddy Nugent.